Hey everybody, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. Thanks for joining. Thanks for being a part of this grand experiment. I'm happy. I'm caffeinated. Hopefully you are as well. Cheers to you. We're doing Sci-Fi Sunday today. So thanks for coming. We're going to warm up, kick things off. I've got some ideas. I am going to do a gerbil today as well. We're going to have some fun. So taking your suggestions as always. I've got two ideas in my head I'm going to do. I'm going to do something uh, roller skate futuristic related. And then I'm going to do a gerbil mecha of some sort. And then I'll take whatever else you got. If this is your first time, be sure to hit subscribe, turn on alerts. Why would you do that? Well, I go live a lot. And sometimes I just go live when I want to. So if you don't want to miss it. You'll want to hit subscribe and turn on those damn alerts so you don't miss the next time. I mean, darn alerts. Let's keep it PC today. All right. So let's get started. Switch cameras here. I'm doing good. Mugshot rules unknown Tanishka. Hello. Big Luke. What's up, Marzi? Hello. Good to see you. Karthik. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to start by doing some straight lines. <clears throat> Maybe if I'm lucky, Scott Robertson will pop in today. Sometimes he pops in. Says, hey. Got to meet him once. Great human. So many talented people out there. Anyhow, hope you're having a, a good Sunday. As always, the life's great. Tunes, beats are brought to you by the amazing Paul Sohi. AKA Final Kaiju. AKA my friend. So thank you, Paul. Let me know if the music's too loud. I'm still trying to figure out. Last stream, I could barely hear it when I played it back, so I upped it a little bit. What's up, Mr. Sweet Roman? I'm doing well today, Mugshot. I'm doing very well. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I woke up this morning, took some pictures of some birds, hung out with the kiddos a little bit, rode my bicycle. It was good. Took a shower. What else do you want to know? <laughs> but I'm good. I'm good. I probably sh I should do digital. Ooh, maybe I'll do a digital week. It's been a minute since I've done that. We can just do all digital. Not today, obviously, but... Adam says it's kind of quiet. All right, let's see. Let's see how that how that sounds. If that sounds all right. Let me know. Trying to always improve here. There might be some background hum, but it's all good. Maybe it's low enough that you can't tell. Hello, Dave. Just did some ellipses I mean circles so let's do some ellipses here I probably should actually structure this a bit better <laughs> so I actually I'm caring a bit more all right let's go small degree big degree I do this because especially on sci-fi Sunday you want to make sure your ellipses are on point I thought about going live yesterday like I always do on a Saturday and then I was like, you know what, I need I need to rest. So hung out with the kiddos a little bit and just chilled. Felt good. Sometimes you gotta push pause on life to recharge, reboot. I was chatting with a friend this morning. I wonder if he'll join Roshan Hakim. Anyway, we were talking about what if Procreate or digital apps went down one day? What would designers do with their ellipses? Would they be able to still draw an ellipse? We both sketch on paper, but we also draw digitally. It's amazing how far technology has come, but I fear we are not learning and actually practicing the way we should, but to each their own. At the risk of sounding like a dinosaur. Draw on paper. 
the way to go. Draw on paper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is dumb, but I'm just going to put some ellipses here. All right. So, yes, yeah, Sci-Fi Sunday. We're going to do Sci-Fi Things. Going to overlay, underlay, double A. It's not really a term. But uh, <laughs> we're going to... We're gonna keep it, keep it going. Karthik, thought of getting a good study table. What's my suggestion? Whatever table works for you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Okay, good to know. Good to know the music's better. Um, I just don't want it like overtaking my voice. And I have like this mixer in my app. So I don't really know live what's happening as always here's a link to the stuff i use if you're curious i'm gonna pin that what's up lori happy sunday <clears throat> whenever i switch from digital to paper safter ah on instagram it's s-a-f-j-e-r underscore a-a-a safter ah says <laughs> they prefers the original table with a rocket um it's a term if you want it to be oh okay um facing a lot of backache oh backache i thought that was backlash i was like well backlash for your table choices that seems odd wow wow okay so i'm gonna do an underlay i am looking at a little reference here um but i'm gonna do an underlay for someone roller skating and it's gonna be in a, a mecha suit or of some sort at least augmented roller skates at the very least and I'm not sure if they're gonna be like jet propelled or what but we'll see Getting a rough sketch in here, keeping it loose, keeping it trill, keeping it loose on Sketch Day Live. Thanks again for joining. Maybe this needs to be a little bit further out. So remember, this is just an underlay just for me to get things in place. So I can do my final sketch. Because I need, I, I'm not confident enough yet to not have to rough things out. So it's just what I'm doing here. And then I'll do the final sketch on nicer paper. Um, I'm trying to think though, I would want, like I want some sort of heavy, heavy weapon or artillery or maybe a pet robot or something with this one. Hello, paper cut Fortnite. Thank you. Uh, Riel, hello. Pawanja, hello as well. Thanks for joining and being a part of this. All right. The other thing you don't get on Instagram as much like it used to be is you don't get the good, good music. So that's something that you're going to be missing out on. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's a, a robot that has wheels or something. It's hanging out with her, some crazy, crazy robot. Maybe. You can always change this as we go. And then here, I think, I'll, I think I'll do goggles for sure. So we'll do goggles. To 
definitely goggles. And I'll figure out the face later. And we're gonna have some like crazy here. Definitely some sort of strap or something. Maybe a visor. Maybe some crazy, crazy vibers. Visor rather, <laughs> not viber. <laughs> Visa is gonna be a some sort of mech suit, like I said. So now I'm gonna start adding just some rough details. shoulder pad of some sort and then we'll do some sort of enhancement to the forearm here sketch that in like I'm not sure if these should be wheels or if they should be um, like jets or hover um, so there's this friend of mine, he's actually a designer at, let's see if I can even find, he's a designer at Leapfrog. And he does the craziest stuff. Um, you guys know I love sharing other accounts here, so let's see. Let's see if I can find this for you. All right, here we go. His name's Joe McCarthy. I think, I always forget. Oh yeah, yeah, Joe McCarthy. Um, so I'll share this link, you guys check him out. He's got crazy, crazy stuff. <clears throat> Do I know Indian gods? Can I sketch at least one, one day? I can. Um, I'm just not familiar with like cultural, uh, like I want, I would want to be very respectful. So I'd have to do some, some research to decide or determine if, um, that's somewhere I want to wade into. But if you have any resources, let me know, send me a link into discord or whatever all right let me get this foot at least a little right like this one's kind of turned in a little bit like so remember i'm gonna do an overlay of this so don't tune out and be like oh man you can't draw what the hell it's an underlay I don't know if the goggles should be on. No, definitely not on. I'm gonna get a little, little face in there somehow. And we're gonna have a crazy hair, like I said. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to account for that. And this will be marker. Maybe some air marker, I'm not sure yet. I gotta figure that out. Might get Tony Hawk to join the Utah YouTube chat. That'd be amazing. Yeah, Joe is a cool dude. He does amazing things. Super like decent human as well. So that's always always a plus. I like sometimes creative people they can kind of be um, standoffish or whatever. And I've had my moments myself, but um, Joe is super decent. Sorry, you probably heard me sipping my coffee. <laughs> What's up, Connor? Hello. All right, so maybe there's this little skater buddy dude that's on a, he's on some some wheels or something right here. So 
some sort of, I mean, should this thing like come overhead maybe? Maybe like to go super fast, this thing comes down or something and like clips in. It's like, that's how, yeah. And then that's how you go like super fast. You've got these boosters. It could be something like that. Kind of rough it out. When in doubt, rough it out. Right, guys? When in doubt, rough it out. That's how we do. Glad you could join, Jordan. I know uh, sometimes it's hard for you to join, by the way. Special shout out and thanks to the patrons. I totally forgot. Not my intention. You guys are the best. This is not a beard, by the way. I'm <laughs> just adjusting the face a little bit. All right. So let's do our overlay. Actually, maybe I'll figure out some some stuff on this this little robot dude first. All right, trying to get these ellipses, you know, the right degree going down. It's a weird scene because there's not really any th context here besides, hey, there's there's someone wearing this, you know, augmented body armor of some sort, body armor suit, and they happen to be on these like crazy, crazy skates. And I'm doing like giant wheels. I guarantee you, there's someone. Who roller skates who's watching is like that's not how they look just kidding i know there's someone who's watching who <laughs> is gonna scrutinize my skate but that's all right it's all good okay so now i'm gonna switch to marker paper is this even gonna fit mm, barely Hello, Salva, Princess of Water. If you want the full stream, you'll want to head over to youtube.com sketchday.com. That's where I've got like all my fancy transitions and stuff. Karthik starts small. Oh, okay. Yes, 10 minutes a day of sketching is a lot easier to accomplish than an hour a day. A bug shield. Exactly, Lori. Pardon my coffee slurps. All right, big fat marker, check. Cheap Ohuhu markers, check. <laughs> so every time I do a stream, it's like a bomb goes off in my studio and I have to redo everything. It's crazy. All right, so I'm going to actually do the hair first. All right. I'm going to do the hair. Because I want that to be defined up front and these goggles. So I'm using a paper made flare pen. I saw Lori tried it out. Are you liking it so far? If anyone else has tried the paper made flare. I like them, of course. I use them all the time. hair is not in a bun as you would think as she blades or skates she likes to have her hair flapping in the wind like a butterfly fresh from its metamorphosis you know, I've been watching a lot of Carl Sagan lately um, you guys should watch those old Carl Sagan explainer videos they're 
quite fascinating. He seems to have been, I, I wasn't old enough to have seen him live, but he seems to have been a very brilliant, introspective human. Quite interesting. It's Carl Sagan. You can get a lot of them on YouTube, actually. They smear? Oh no. I mean, okay, so here's here's your tip for the day. If you're using pens, not just for the day, because I give this tip all the time. But try and hold your pen away from the tip. If you're holding like this, you're gonna smudge and it's gonna be um, hard to see. Maybe she just let go her here. Since it's gonna be actually, wouldn't would it be in the way of the bug shield? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Cause that could come down, and the hair could just be in the back, <sighs> flying right. Okay, made it past that hard, hard part. And now, let's get some lines in for the rest of this business. So sometimes when I do these overlays, I'll just change things along the way, even if I didn't, you know, have it in the original sketch. That's okay, you can do that. All right, so with my, my strokes here, I'm just trying to be a little bit careful and lighter in the stroke, almost like a, a line that's continuous, but has a few breaks. Uh, Rodrigo says, black paper made flares are so hard to find in Mexico. What other pens do you recommend? Blessings to you, Latrice. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Marcy says, love that she's got the thick thighs. Yeah, she does. She does, or as I've been saying lately, they do. Cause you never know. I don't know how. Sh I don't know how they identify. You know, we gotta be be all inclusive here. But on a serious note, it's something I'm I'm working on myself. <laughs> I like to tell you guys what's weird to me on a drawing, so in case you're following, you're like, oh man, I don't really like that either. Um, plus, for me, it's all about learning. Learning together. This glorious journey of drawing and art. get some these are like wide really wide skates um, so and the wheels are kind of set off to the side just a little bit I 
I'm just making this up as I go, by the way. Um, but that's for... I don't know, maybe it's aerodynamics. <laughs> like I said, I'm just making, making this up. Making it up as we go. Trying to look left to right on these, see if I can at least hint at something of a similar look here. Left to right. Like I said, that foot's kind of weird, but. Let's get these these boosters in. Just absolutely crazy, but they are a test pilot for this new new skate system that they've got going. Maybe this this robot actually. Um, Maybe it actually travels with, just to make sure that in the case of any kind of accident or anything. I also don't know why this hand is robotic. Maybe she lost an arm in a previous race. <laughs> and then this this arm is just literal armor. Um, but yeah, maybe this robot travels along on the track, right? And then in case of anything happening, can like help her out or whatever. ADA certified too. Saskatchewan Day Live, thanks for joining on this Sunday. Sci-Fi Sunday. I don't think we've finalized a topic yet, have we Jordan? I don't think we have. Um, we were kind of waffling between transportation and handheld I don't really care if you guys have any votes though definitely let us know and these legs I'm gonna make them asymmetric and just kind of crazy in terms of their articulation because they don't really need to make sense this is kind of one of those Crazy bots. So yeah, if you're drawing with pen, once again, try and back off the tip of the pen, because that's going to help you um, see more of what you're trying to draw. And I think, at least for me, it's helped me draw better with a pen. Also. Don't uh, hold on to the pen for dear life. Just be nice and relaxed with it. Work light, light stroke if you can. It's another thing I like about the flare. So I am able to get just a nice light touch. All right, so there's the overlay and the underlay. So again, work smart if you can. Um, I did I did uh, this one goggle is, is kind of weird. I did change stuff from underlay to overlay but that's okay. And now we can come in if you want and add line weight first or you can add your marker. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do some marker get this crazy here so I do have this friend who has hair like this so I'm gonna use as much as I can reference I'm trying to remember if it goes like blue into purple I think it does go blue into purple reddish so blue on the ends 
of the hair into like a, a blonde. So I'm gonna try with markers. Let's see. It is marker paper, so I should be able to get some nice blends. I also did go ahead and buy a new compressor. <laughs> um, and that's gonna allow me to do more of my air marker stuff. Without having to use the expensive uh, Copic marker system. Just a couple little little bolts here. And her armor. All right, Connor, thanks for hanging out. Good luck on your drawing. Um, let me go ahead and just kind of rough in what I think the shadow will be. I like those just dark shadows. Um, they just work really well as a nice background element. So just anticipating that shadow. Our little speedster, speedster bot here. Does it have boosters though? Yeah, maybe I'll put a couple little or a booster on the back. <laughs> right there. Like I said, it's got these crazy, crazy legs. It's like we you know trying to find its its footing. All right, let me do some latch stuff. I guess I need to also, there we go. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, a little bit of the inside, body, cool. All right, do I have a model in front of myself? I do not have a model. Um, I looked at a couple different pictures to get um, some scale reference, but that's it. What's up, Andrew, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out on Sunday, Sci-Fi Sunday. Connor, if you're still here, I go live every Sunday, but I go live almost every day as well so there's that all right hair <laughs> i keep stalling <laughs> so yeah i think it goes from like blue into like a purple or something pretty sure purple red but at the very top, blonde. So up next, I'm gonna do another mech type thing, but it's gonna be piloted by a gerbil. Gerbil? Geb. Gerbil? Gerbil? I've never actually drawn blonde hair, so it should be interesting. See what I come up with, color-wise. I suspect I may be best served using my Copic markers, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, Connor, I go live a lot, so... As long as you have... Uh, <laughs> yes, gerbil time is here. Gerbil, gerbil. Um, as long as you have alerts turned on, oh shoot, my Apple Watch thought I was working out for the last two hours, but I was not. 
Well, hey, maybe I'll win my challenges this week. Okay. It's so weird. Normally it would ask me to stop. I'll just have to delete that workout. Or modify it. goes into purple but this purple might be too intense so let's do if we do a little color mix I think I can I think I can do this just a little bit of red and then I'll add the, the purple or as you can see here the blue mixed with this pink makes it a little purple itself. So maybe I actually don't need that. We can just blend these together. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Happy Sunday to you too, Manpreet. Yeah, so now I can kind of blend these together. Yeah, that looks good. I love it when my guesses work out. <laughs> this is Sketch a Day Live. Live! Like, it's happening right now. Right this minute. If you're watching. I keep looking behind me because I keep hearing sounds. Gotta make sure my kids are alright, you know. They're fine. They were very cute this morning. Played Uno, did some bird watching. It's a beautiful fall day here where I live. It's chilly. I'm not excited for it to be cold, that's for sure. But beautiful day nonetheless. So yeah, I think this week um, I'm gonna keep, keep it all Digital, I know Latrice will appreciate that. I'll just have to remember. Hope I don't forget. I'll just have to hope for the best. Takashi 69 vibes. <laughs> That's true. I'll have to tell my friend that. She'll be like, who? You know, Takashi, Takashi69. He is, he is something. I used to follow him quite a bit. Um, yeah, he is certainly something of a character. Should we make this a little shiny? But yeah, he's, he's certainly, <laughs> he's just always trolling everyone. All right, so I did want to keep like the base armor simple and then I'll add some color pops here and there. So that's why I'm using this blue, just to get the base, base panels in. Maybe a bit, we could do some asymmetry as well. Asymmetry is always fun. Always fun. I'm gonna have to fix her eyes. She looks like something out of Goonies. Manpreet, the music is on point as always. Thank you. Except I need to remove this artist from my... <laughs> In fact, I'm just gonna delete. Delete those songs. I don't need that. It's like, it's like too bumping. Too bumping. Just too much. Is it a Ninja Turtle? Sure. Ask David Ganon. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, you'll just want to make sure you have those alerts turned on and then you can join the stream somewhat at the beginning. 
What is this? Blue gray three. Keep it in keep it in the blue grays here. Um, I'll throw some pink on this too. Pink or reddish pink or something. Something along those lines. That'll be fun. I have been enjoying the little uh, slower pace of sketching as well. I will say. Um, for a while I was doing like... I don't know, what would I do guys? Like five sketches in a stream? For a while. But I kind of like the slower pace as well. Alright, I gotta tie this all together. It's always the, the tricky bit. I love markers. <laughs> Thanks for joining Sketch Day. Yeah, I'll fix her hair, don't worry. And her face. some contrast in here that's gonna help if things recede where they need to recede so that's my blue gray nine I've got a blue gray five here Decide if I want to, yeah, I guess keep it simple. Hello, Connor, welcome back. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the pate. All right. If air gear was made in 1990s America, sure. Um, let's see. I gotta finish the midsection, but I'm not really feeling the monotone here. So I'm gonna, th I'm gonna think a little bit, and while I think, this stream is brought to you by no one. <laughs> I should save that as a voice sample for when I make music. This. This song is brought to you by no one. Or that could be my my producer ad lib. So I changed the direction she's looking to this way. So that helps. The goggles are a little bit off. So I'm gonna try and fix that with a little line weight here. And then she probably would have some more hair kinda coming off here. So add that. Am I almost done? I'm not almost done. <laughs> this is going to take some work for me to finish up. Um, I think I'm going to do this like industrial orange color for this backpack edition. Call it, it's like a little, little sci-fi orange. We'll do some black text on there and then maybe her chest plate here is connected 
to the like booster pack. So this booster pack right here is one piece. And then, yeah, that looks good. Then I can throw some text on it. Maybe some arrows, things like that. Um, so I mean shadow. All right, now we're cooking with the gas, people. I, when I was living in San Francisco, I took a bus once. The end, just kidding. Um, I took a bus once and the bus driver, he was so cool. Uh, we were talking, we were talking about something, I don't remember what. And he was like, now you're cooking with the gas. So <laughs> that became one of my favorite sayings. Now you're cooking with the gas. Thank you, Connor. I happen to like the face. <laughs> But I appreciate the feedback. Connor says I ruined the face. All right. Um, so this thing is transparent. So I'm going to draw a little bit of the understructure there. to our suit. I guess they need knee pads, right? So yeah, we'll add some, some text. Maybe just a big old arrow of some sort. It almost feels like Avatar style. The last airbender. Is that mouse on my right 100 US dollars? No. I think I got it for 35 or 40. Face looks like the Toxic Avengers. Thank you, Andrew. Um, let's see. Who do I look up to for inspiration? Um, I can't think of specific people. I'm terrible at names. So um, there's a few people I follow online, but I don't like copy their work or anything. And inspiration for me tends to be more along the lines of, oh, that's really cool. I feel like drawing today, not that I'm gonna copy the style per se. but I am weird like that. For some people though, it helps. You know, if you wanna try and copy someone's style, there's nothing wrong with that. Ultimately, it's gonna be your strokes applied in the way you draw.
I used to, I guess maybe I still hold on to this, um, but I, I try not to necessarily mimic other people. Like, I'll observe their work, but I won't, like, try and recreate it. It's just more like, oh, I notice they do this with their marker, I'm going to try that, or... I notice when they sketch digitally, they do this or that. This is like a freaking crazy drawing as far as colors go. Um, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> Mecha Art, what's up? You're back. <laughs> I am doing a gerbil today, I decided. For real this time. Because it is Sci Fi Sunday. For real. Happy Sunday to you too, Svetlana. Crazy hair. <laughs> Andrew says it's like a unicorn exploded. I agree. It is like a unicorn exploded. And that's okay. So as always, these sketches will be available to the Patrons on the Patreon Patreon uh, Google Drive. If you guys want to check that out, that's patreon.com slash sketch day. We did have a new patron this week. Forgot to give a shout out. Let's pull this up here. Hold please. Okay, we have a new patron. Oh man, I can't find it. <laughs> terrible, terrible, just terrible. I was not prepared for this today. But I will find it with my right hand. <laughs> Omega, oh yeah, I can see Omega Red. I could, I could see that. Um, oh, it's from Lines. Lines, Linus, Lines. Thank you for the support. Welcome. New patron. Lines. All right, where was I? I was doing some darker, darker tones here. Make some stuff pop. Wow, it's been 55 minutes already. That's crazy. Okay. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. And then I'll do just a quick... Put the red on the wrong one there. I'll do a quick, quick gerbil. Gerbil gerbil. Oh, robots can't be pink or mecha suits? Sure they can. Right? We can do pink if we want. Alright, trying to move a little quicker. Because I have been taking way too long here.
Way too long. Have I watched The Legend of Korra? Yes, I just watched The Legend of Korra and finished it with my kids. It's a fun show. I can't bring myself to watch Pokemon though. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I just I can't can't do that one. But I have watched The Legend of Korra. It was fine. She was kind of annoying in the beginning. Kind of like Aang in, uh, what do you call it? Avatar The Last Airbender. Kind of annoying. But got better eventually. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm running out of time on this one, so I'm just going to try and salvage what I can here. some extra pen on top of the marker now so this is an instance where I may see a technique or something and I'm just trying to mimic it in my own way and that's something you can do <laughs> Marcy says she looks fast um, something you can do to and this is just answering that question of okay who do I look up to um, part of it is, again, just looking at their work, and if there's something you like about it, trying to mimic that thing. Just using the big fat marker here just to kiss the page a little bit, and then get my shadow in. Just like that. And we've got our augmented speed skater. So underlay, overlay, I'd probably tweak or change. I'd redo the face, I really would. Um, it's always hard for me, so. tricks I can pull up but it might be one of those cases where those changes and improvements are best suited for something like um, Photoshop anyhow so there we go I will upload this as well all right so up next we had uh, mecha art been asking me for some time now. Can you do do a gerbil? A gerbil in a mech mech suit. So I'll just do just a quick quick sketch here of a gerbil. Gerbil based mech suit. So, this is for the gerbil to sit in right there. Two 
two legs. Kind of want to blow this up. Maybe I'll do an overlay. After all, I was hoping not to do an overlay here, but I'll probably do one. Oh, maybe. I mean, I could could just make just a nice big dome here. It actually feels kind of cool. Yeah, I'll leave it. <laughs> we'll make this work. I'm using a Papermate flare. Um, and to answer your question, yes, I do have a... Not your question, because you haven't asked it yet, but I suspect someone will ask. Um, I do have a picture of a gerbil in this, this instance open. Because I'm trying to at least... get it mostly right right and this is you know all all freehand no overlay so I'm trying to just keep it simple but then now I can come back in and add whatever details I need or want feels better and then this one needs to be a little bit further down off to the side back yeah, like that okay so we can fix that with some line weight not worried not too worried there all right, so like I said, we're going to do a weekly sketch challenge this week. I'm not quite sure what the topic is just yet. It's likely transportation or uh, handheld we were kind of talking about. So if you have any preference, let me know. Handheld would be interesting. It'd be really challenging, I think. Drawing hands all week. I mean, last week was stressful as it was. <laughs> drawing people all week. Stressful because it's not what I typically do, but grateful for the practice. Absolutely. Behold the mech to suppress Metal Gear squeak. fuzzy body down into this little cockpit area. It's got a little screen, maybe some controls. I don't know, maybe it's wearing something on its head, like some sort of mind control apparatus that has cables. something like that <laughs> AK and Co says I left this place five minutes back I came back and there's a finished masterpiece well it's not finished <clears throat> a gerbil is known as a desert rat yeah this, this leg is bugging me I don't want to move it over even more. I 
All the stuff down here will get cleaned up, don't worry. I want more skin tones. So, and then the armor itself. What color to make said dribble armor? I'm gonna go with that orange again because I like it. That like half life orange. Half life's a video game, by the way. For those who are not familiar. So in shading something, right, I'm thinking of this like a sphere, this one I'm thinking of like a cylinder. So if I were shading a cylinder, I'd have a nice shadow core and then some sort of highlight. So now I can kind of double down, add some tone there. So to answer the question that tends to come, how do you know where to leave white spots? Right, I'm just thinking, Thinking of this a lot like a cylinder or certain parts like a sphere. If it's more spherical, then that's how I do the highlights. If it's more cylindrical, then I tend to lean on the process of shading a cylinder. same color, that's what I'm trying to decide. Keep this one quick. Last one took way too long, guys. Way too long.
way too long. Uh, I want to make this my desktop wallpaper. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too freaking funny. Mecha art. I don't know if this is the right color, but I'll use it anyways. Markers are just so much faster than digital sketching for me. Like, it's not as perfect and clean, but it's so fast. That's why I love them. Maybe I should try and combine marker and digital more. Um, there's a, a guy on Instagram, super talented, <laughs> named Clark. At least I don't know. If, I don't know his name. He just goes by Clark Design, and uh, he does a lot of like Marvel and Star Wars il illustrations. But he'll do them with like marker, and then bring in digital to like touch up and finish his whole thing. It's pretty cool. Clark design. add some line weight here okay what time is it all right I will take a request so if you guys have a sci-fi related request because I'm just gonna keep this one sketchy and loose I'd love to do another one so if you have a request let me know Clark, these are crispy. Yeah, he's got he's got some nice nice work. Um, but I've I've asked him about it. Okay, how'd you do these? And he's he's told me that it is marker with digital. So pretty cool, pretty cool work and process style that he's got going. So so yeah, I don't like. I don't know. I don't try and emulate anyone in particular. I just I have people that there's different things I like about their work. I'm just going back to that question of whose work inspires me. Um, Kim Jong I, I like for for me with his work. It's not yeah. It's like I'm not trying to emulate his stuff. For a minute, for a hot minute, I tried, but then I was like, you know what? I don't need to emulate be inspired so I try to be inspired by certain people's work um, there's uh, actually I know this person at least I'm connected to them on Facebook we're supposed to have coffee but uh, Ryan Otley he illustrated for the amazing spider-man for some time um, also like really amazing work that you should check out if you like comic book illustration. Ryan Otley is his his name. A drone with a laser gun. Uh, let's see, Assassin's Creed character standing upon a futuristic spaceship. Hmm, maybe. I need something that I can do quick though, because <laughs> I don't want I don't want to do another, you know, forever illustration. I suppose some of that was my own damn fault working on it too much all right let's do some, some little texture stuff here and then I'll use the big fat marker I don't know why there is an arrow on on this gerbil's chest but there is 
Maybe it's an arrow for some sort of panel or something, some asymmetric panel. And then some text or something. Are you happy now, Mecha Art? <laughs> you waited long enough. You got your dribble in a mech. All right, let's finish up our canopy here. So yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, try new things or borrow things from from other artists, certainly. Should have had the gerbil facing us, but tis what it is. A 3D skull. Gotta vote for a 3D skull. Interesting. 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 <laughs> I just love this marker. I can't I can't say enough good things about it. You guys just need to try one for yourself. It's the Pilot Big Fat Marker. Just kidding. It's the Super Color Marker by Pilot. Super Color Marker. It's huge. It's very juicy. <laughs> but it, it, the, the tip of it, the more you use it, like the more it feels almost like a brush. It's really hard for me to explain, but it just like, ugh. It's just awesome. And like you get these cool strokes that just, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Mecca. Mecca Art just said he joined the Patreon. I would have sent you a scan anyways, cause you've been asking me for so long. So I appreciate the support for sure. means a lot all right so once again thank you for watching on the Instagram if you want the full experience next time chat all that stuff definitely definitely visit the YouTube youtube.com slash sketchaday.com so we hang and talk and vibe and all that good stuff did I drop a marker okay this this set of markers is confusing here's why so I bought this set and it comes with a blue gray three but also comes with a blue gray three blue gray two stroke three here's another one blue gray two stroke nine I don't understand the difference between these two one does look a little bit lighter so why not call it different you know it's weird it's really really weird but that's what they do and I do wish these markers were refillable I actually like them if they were refillable it would it would probably probably be a game-changer for me 
personally and how I use markers and whatnot. So guys at Ohuhu, if you're watching, I'm telling you. If you're watching, get some refills going. All right, I just wanted the base brown tone here to kind of help me as I now do some gerbil gerbil fur. Camper Kelm, this brightened your afternoon, make art. <laughs> uh, lines, what more is there to draw after a gerbil? <laughs> to go. I wasn't even going to use this much marker on this, but felt right. Felt like I could, so. Why not? All right, let's finish these little head attachment things here. Huh, that's interesting. Is my camera not focusing? Sorry, it looked like it was fuzzy on YouTube. My apologies. Anyhow, I will upload the final sketch, like I said, when it's done. So we've got two done today. We got our skater and our gerbil. And we're gonna do one more thing, whatever that is, in just a bit. Adding some hatching here to the dark side of the gerbil. Welcome to the dark side of the gerbil. My voice is not warmed up today. Apologies, but just riffing on the uh, Dark Side of the Moon album. Whose very mention risks the monetization of my stream. Just kidding. But they are super picky. I've said that before a few times, but yeah. Um, and rightfully so. I mean, is there a copyright? They can police their music copyrights as much as they want, however they want. It's entirely up to them. I guess they are slightly different, these blue grays. Ever so slightly different, but so dumb. I don't get why they have multiples in this thing. All right, so there's our gerbil. Gerbil Mecca. Thank you, Mecca Art, for the suggestion. Many weeks in the making if not months <laughs> but I had to I had to do my gerbil research just kidding I didn't um, but there you go or gerbil with some brain brain interface because I feel like you know even if the hands are positioned here gerbil paws mitts whatever um, 
it would struggle, you know, to like move around and control everything. So there we go. <laughs> or dribble, dribble mech. All right. So there's our two sketches so far. Let's do one more. I kind of want to do some vehicle related. So let's see. T-Rex skull, T-Rex skull, flying one-eye future octopus. Um, you know, flying one-eyed future octopus reminds me a bit of, um, did you guys ever watch Silverhawks? The TV? Or is that just me? Um, so it was this TV show that I grew up with and um, Anyhow, they're in outer space. It's these like humans with this like silver armor and they would fly. Anyhow, the bad guy had this ship that was really just a space squid and it was encased in armor. So that reminds me a bit of Silverhawks, if you will. Okay. Mecha Arts says, I'm over here in tears from how hard I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, gerbil centered design, indeed. Okay. Let's see. Plants in space, futuristic plant holder, um, robot janitor, drone laser with a gun, Batmobile, sci-fi Octavius. Huh. Man, so hard to pick. So many, so many good ideas here. So many good ideas. Okay, I was just checking the chat, guys. All right. I do want to do... I wonder if I could combine some of these. So someone had, like, futuristic space plant. Okay, so there's that. Um, what if we did a spaceship that was powered by plants somehow? So in, in The Legend of Korra, part of the storyline, not to ruin the whole show, is they harvest energy from these plants. That's all I'll say. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so we could do something like that. The squid ship sounds interesting so we could do something with a squid and then someone wanted like an assassin's creed type thing we had um okay so I'm, I'm starting to get visions of something anyways so i think i'll i'll start by just roughing something up And then there was also a request for something with laser guns so we can sketch some cannons in place. Just keep it, keep it loose here. Some sort of Space squid. I'm pretty sure I've done space squid ships before. Pretty sure, but I'll just do another one. There's also a question about like, how do you get your lines to look better? Part of it is, yeah, you just have to um, Get in the habit of holding your pen a little bit looser and lighter than you might be used to or even want to. And it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel really weird. All right, so maybe in this little canister here, we've got some sort of contraption that actually takes Plant energy, right? So we've got these vines. If somebody wanted something with space plants. So maybe there's this, this gnarly vine growing in here. I don't know how I can combine Assassin's Creed dude into this one. Spaceship Octavius would pilot. 
Octavius! Our dude from the from Fashion Week. Imagine if you woke up and this thing was like flying over planet Earth. What would you do, right? And maybe there's another one just for context in the distance as well. So you wake up and you go outside for your morning coffee. It kind of has a War of the Worlds vibe to it. This little, little ship. And then let's put some boosters on. Could be another one off in the distance here. Just scribbles. So notice how when something's off in perspective, I can get away with lowering the detail. And that immediately like gives it a sense of place in our scene. So something you can do there, play with. But yeah, maybe inside of this canister, this glass thing or whatever it is, I've got some sort of energy harvesting system for our spaceship it's odd that it would be on the outside of the ship though because you'd want to like protect it from attack right Just trying to combine combine a bunch of these because I just want this to be the last drawing. So I thought, what if we get creative? Combine some of these ideas into one thing. Plus I kinda wanted to do a spaceship. Spoiler alert. Alright. So <laughs> maybe we've got something like that. Line says it blows my mind how quickly and simply you can make such readable forms. Thank you. Um just practice, that's that's really all it is. I've noticed too that sometimes I'll go through funks, so it's not always as simple as like, okay, cool, we're back, I can draw. Um, sometimes you have to uh, push through, push through your funks. The other bit of advice that I always give my students, speaking of which, if you want tutoring, I do offer that. Information's on the website, but uh, one thing I do tell them is you have to draw from observation to then be able to draw from your imagination. Yes, that's a play on words, but it is very true. Yeah, maybe this is like far in the future, humans actually have harvested space alien body parts, turned them into, instead of using those space station arms, you now use these squid arms that we found on a nearby planet. And these squid arms are just much more flexible, plus they can regrow, unlike robot arms that have to be repaired. We can just grow them back. So maybe this is a human vessel. And in addition to that, we found this particular plant that emits, or rather can be harvested for its energy. And 
that's what we're using to propel this ship. Maybe. Maybe that's the story here. Sometimes when I draw, I like telling myself stories <laughs> just to kind of guide, <laughs> guide what I do. So if you're wondering, what is he talking about? Hold on, guys. All right. And I gotta feed my little children. I think they're getting a little hungry. We're gonna use the same orange. We're gonna use a Half-Life orange that we've been using on our roller skater. We'll use some some of that blue-gray as well. Maybe some green or something for this arm. Some of the parts aren't necessarily broken out, so I think I wasn't as careful as I should be. Alright, but let's just get some of these orange panels in. There's no way the military actually built this. This was by some tech company that made the discovery. So that's why it's orange and not. Let's get our little arrow in because everything has an arrow on it. Um, <laughs> that's why it's not your typical military green or gray or whatever. So Sketch Day Live, by the way, we're just having fun doing Sci-Fi Sunday. Thanks for joining. If it's your first time, hit subscribe, turn on alerts, whether you like it or not. That's the first thing you want to do because if you hate it, it makes it easier for you to come back next time. And if you like it, it also makes it easier for you to come back. So it's like win-win. Can't lose. Love it or hate it. All right. <laughs> If you are watching on Instagram, try watching on YouTube next time. So then you get to hang out in the chat, know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, I think that's what it was. I said hell on a stream or damn or something, and then YouTube like flagged me. Or maybe I said something else, but it happens. All right, just give this give this a quick treatment here. Now I gotta get my squid arms colored in somehow. I am gonna use a green for those. They gotta be green, right? Green, gray or something. Green, gray, jean, gray. Ooh, yes. Got some nice olive tone going here. Hoping to have my new mic set up this week as well. Not that the audio sucked per se, but you know, I'm always trying to make it better. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I do want to make the far side a little bit darker. So I'm going to take my blue gray five, if I can find it. Get the big fat marker ready. I must have dropped it on the ground or something. Should we try the new air compressor out? <laughs> Do some air marker. 
If I do, it's gonna get like loud, loud. Anyhow, I have this new air compressor doodad. I don't even know where I'd use it on this, honestly. Maybe just for some glow effect, but let's not get too silly today. R type. Oh, yeah, I remember R type. I used to play that. R type was awesome. Our type was a fun game. And the stream has officially gone longer than I. I need to speed up. I guess if it was an alien plant, it might be purple or something, but it's all right. But someone said, said space plant, so here we are. Akil asks, why would anyone hit? You know, I don't know. Sometimes it has to do with my race, honestly, based on the comments I get from people. But uh, it doesn't bother me anymore. It used to bother me a lot, like when I first started streaming. And uh, I get just the worst, most hateful people calling me gorilla and all sorts of other stuff comments out there and I got really depressed for a bit because so I was just like really you know like I'm putting my heart out here but yeah some people are just hateful for sure faux show sure. the plants need starlight indeed that's how these plants grow I found my blue gray five, it was on the ground, so now I don't have to struggle with my my contrast here on my sketch. Alright, what's this? Yellow seven? Hmm. I just need to find a deeper yellow here for my squid. And that works. And then on this side, I need some gray. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this neutral gray kind of hit over just so it like pushes it further back and if you can see visually what that does and then our weapon here in the front I'll just use that same blue So we kind of got our color scheme going. Something like that. And you know, this is it's kind of some alien arm thing. So I want some like texture or whatever, at least on the ones that are closer to us, the viewer. So I'll just take my pen. 
Add some texture, maybe a couple of spots. Something like this. This is a long stream. It, yeah, yesterday and today, man. Went long. Or not yesterday, Friday. Went long Friday. But it's all good. We're having fun. Time flies when you're having fun, for real. Like, can't believe it's almost, at least where I am, one o'clock. So, thanks for hanging. Fun as always. there on that stabilizer. Alright. What pen do I use for texture and detail? It's this is all with the paper made flare so far. I haven't even gotten out the the BFM yet. The big fat marker. This is all that same, this guy, Paper Made Flare pen. So I've tried a lot of pens in my life. This one is my solid go-to pen. Sometimes I'll switch to a brush pen. Um, yeah, sometimes I'll switch to a brush pen, but for the most part, this is my kind of go-to go-to pen here all right so again you can kind of see here just a little light color touch nothing too serious and then I'll get the little little squid arms whatever just with some, some color there and now the BFM so the tips kind of worn down a little bit which I like because it actually makes this feel lot more like a brush in some ways with the strokes that I can get so try it out Use it a ton, wreck the tip, see if you like it. I do. All right, so we're coming into the home stretch, guys. Thanks for hanging out, being here on Sketch a Day Live for Sci Fi Sunday. Is the squid the pilot, and this is like an exosuit? Maybe. We haven't gone into what's inside there, but perhaps, perhaps another time. Sisman Seisman says, I'm a little bit late. You're a lot bit late. Basically missed the whole damn thing. Here we are. I need to stop. <laughs> I'm like adding little white highlights now that I shouldn't be adding. I'm trying to just pull out some, some stuff here. Edges and whatnot. I really shouldn't. Part lines. All right, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> All right, let's sign this bad boy. Boom. And so yes, this will be available. Okay, this will be available on the Patreon, Patreon 
Google Drive. If you signed up to be a patron, by the way, and you are a part of the Discord, let me know. Special Discord status. Uh, you do get a free sticker as well. I'll mail out to you anywhere in the world. Or I'll give you a PDF of my 500 sketches book. That's also available. All right. Okay. So we got the gerbil sketch that we did. We have our spaceship and our thick speed skatress skate all right guys thanks for hanging it's been a pleasure as always thank you for signing up for being a patron shout out to mecha art for signing up um the sketch will be available after the stream i'll upload that um scan these all and upload them i should say so those will be available if you want to support patreon.com slash sketch day or just by being here is probably one of the best things you can do Check out sketchaday.com if you are curious about resources as including